Okay, we have a prototype fork here from Intent PC and let's dive more into it now. Okay, so uh, the story with this fork is that we were talking with Cornelius uh, last year and we were thinking how to improve the forks of these days and, and uh, Cornelius popped up an idea that we could make the uh, fork as an on an angle so uh, uh, what what means that now the offset is uh, further away in the beginning of the travel and then we work down lower at the end of the travel so the offset changes throughout the travel and um, uh, also there's one one theory that it helps is that when you get over obstacles you, so you won't be on the negative trail so easily so it's more sensitive on that and um, uh, yeah uh, the other theory I was thinking that when you corner uh, this kind of fork when you use more travel the offset becomes lower uh, it might give you more stability in the corners and today when I was uh, testing it more like high speeds and more more around the corners it's actually doing that uh, I feel more balanced on the bike when I go in the corners uh, also the front end comes a little bit closer to you through the travel than you normally would so you can get more weight on the front end uh, in cornering and um, I'm, uh, I've been riding the Intent Flash last year season. I raced the fork. I won the Master Series in Finland uh, with that fork. And uh, I preferred that fork uh, for racing. And this fork actually is really interesting. I, I'm, uh, I need more, more uh, time on it, uh, but I feel that this is improvement to the fork that I had. And um, cool story about it we made the crowns for the three prototypes that there uh, there are in the world so this is one of the only forks at the moment so uh, I'm I don't know when Connors will make them uh, a series or will he put them as a series but I t totally can say that it is um, worth upgrading um, it feels per very good solid um, a lot of people are worried about the stiffness, the lateral stiffness of the forks. Yeah, if you try to twist the, the front tire, um, put it between your legs and twist it, it doesn't have a lot of uh, stiffness that way. But from to front to back, there's a lot of stiffness. And when you go into the corner, you can really brake hard and your um, brake, like the tire is not wobbling and you get more tr accurate when you enter in the corner. And I haven't ever felt that you actually need that much of the lateral stiffness uh, when you go in the corners. Please remember that uh, motorbikes have this kind of setup. So of course their uh, axles are more stiffer. However, I tried the 20 millimeter axle as well on the on the fork, and I didn't uh, I didn't feel a lot uh, difference with that. So. I don't think that the lateral t stiffness is that important. It is important, but not that important, I think. But nevertheless, it's a it's a really really cool how things played out with this fork. I uh, I see a lot of improvement in in the design, and and uh, I'm gonna stick with this one. Thanks, Cornelius. One more thing about the the fork uh, is that it's a uh, um, it's a bachelor thesis work for Elias Lamprecht. So he, me and, uh, and Cornelius was studying and talking about this and we came up with the, the beautiful color scenes and all that. But he's uh, doing more in-depth uh, scientific analysis of the fork uh, for his uh, thesis. So um, I think you should go to Intent BC and start asking questions from these guys. Okay, cheers, bye.